In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up a home theater PC using Bode Linux and XBMC. Now, Bode Linux is a fantastic looking lightweight Linux distro. I'm using it here on the tablet interface, so I could still use a PC well, as a PC. I don't have to use it in XBMC all the time. The advantage of the tablet interface here is all the applications open as full screen. The icons are quite nice size to hit if you're across the room and not necessarily that close to the TV. And you can still get into XBMC. Well, what I'm doing here is actually booting it directly into XBMC and then you've got the option to log off and then use the Bode Linux desktop or the E17 desktop as I should give it its correct name. Now I've written a guide here on Google Docs. Now last time I did one of these guides in Google Docs, few people had trouble accessing the guide and I think what that was is if you got if you're actually logged into Google, sometimes it messes up there. So if it does that, just log off of Google and then access the guide from the link. Should work, hopefully. Right, I've got an installed Bode Linux again in VirtualBox. So I'm at this point here, choose the desktop layout. As I've said there, the tablet style is quite nice for the large screen TVs. So that's what I'm opting for there. So let's select that, go next, and that's the theme I rather like. There's plenty more themes available if you go and look on the website and in Synaptic Package Manager. Right, so now I'll set the contents to the top panel. I'll just do this one quickly. This is not an essential part, but I'm just going to do it here. Right, CPU frequency and battery remove and add in the everything starter. Right click again and go begin move resize items. Now you have to keep the items actually in the panel. If you move the mouse outside of the panel, they disappear. Right, so that's, what I, that's all done there. End moving the items. Now turn the volume up. Otherwise you'll get XBMC on there and then wonder why the sound doesn't work. Ah, is it because the volume is muted? And lastly, disable the screen blanking. So that's where I use the everything starter and type in blanking. So you can either disable it or leave it on and just increase the timeout. Mm. Actually, let's leave it on this time and go for a timeout of half an hour. So apply and close. And close that. Right, there's an optional part here. Install the SSH so you can build the system remotely via SSH or PuTTY if you're using Windows. That's where I can go into System Tools. Or I could have just opened the Everything Launcher and typed in Terminal sudo apt get install ssh the password is what you typed in earlier when you installed the system yes it might come up with an error of not being able to find the packages in which case you need to do that sudo apt get update i'm rather hoping to hold that command back for a minute because i want to do that item just above it which is change the server from american to british or actually we just need to find out what the IP address of this is. Uh, just go to ifconfig. We are using. It's probably a way of doing it through the menus, but uh, this is quicker. Right, 141. That'll do. Right, I'm opening up terminal and I'm going to go across that IP address SSH 192.168.62.1.4.1. Oh, now, because I'm using the same username across the two systems, I don't have to type that. Otherwise, I would do quiz at 192. First time connecting there, yes. The reason why I'm doing this line here is because there's a bug in the tablet version where if you try and change a new country on the sources list, it doesn't take. I don't know if they're aware of that in the Bodhi team. I'll have to find out how to raise a bug report otherwise and tell them. Right, now you can see I'm getting the packages from GB. Obviously, for other countries, they need to change the couple of letters at the beginning, so you can just take out where I've got GB and put the letters for your own country. Or if you're in America, you can leave it as is. This section here is for XBMC, where if you're doing a shared library, the default network manager doesn't connect in time for the shared library to connect, and it's a bit annoying. This is the way I found to get around it. Items in purple you need to change for your own system. So what I'm going to do here is just take a copy of them. 
open up gedit, paste it here, and then I'm going to change it in the text editor. So that'll be 62, I'm just going to leave the same IP. 141, 62, 62, 62 for that. Right, DNS name server, those IP addresses there are for open DNS server. If you don't want to use that, you could use the Google one, which is 8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4. Or for your ISP, it would probably be 192.168.1.1 probably. Right, I've actually paid to use open DNS, so I'm going to keep with them. Then copy all those lines in one go, paste them, then press enter. And just double check that's taken, so that's cat, etsy, interfaces, and there you go, all there. Well, that section is for proprietary graphics card drivers. In VirtualBox, I don't need to worry about this, so I'm going to move along. Right, creating folders under your home folder. Again, I can do the whole lot in one go. Now let's start installing some packages. Do the updates first. I missed off one small line earlier. Exit. <laughs> and then create those folders again, because I noticed they didn't appear when I was just messing around with the system. Right, that should work. Right now I'll start installing packages. So we've done the dist upgrade. Now we'll do the rest of the packages there. So we need Pulse Audio, the Ubuntu Restricted Extras, and XBMC. Yes. And lastly, you can set an auto login to XBMC. Seems to be a helicopter flying around outside and making a whole lot of noise in my video. But uh, I'm near enough at the end now, so I'm just going to carry on. It's probably a search and rescue helicopter. Hmm. Very odd. Alright, and that is it. We can now reboot. You can either reboot for the GUI or just reboot via SSH. So if we return to the virtual box, ah yes, it is rebooting. Sweet! gone straight into the XBMC desktop and while I was waiting for a load of those packages to install earlier I went and installed the config file which gave me my shared libraries on the NAS. So that's pretty much pre-set up for me. I'll go and log out and go back to the Bodhi desktop, or the E17 desktop. So I can just select it down there, click on my username and put in the password. There you go. A home theatre PC with a rather nice desktop. So that is how you set up home theatre PC in Bodhi Linux. So thanks for watching. See you later.